This is John from GridConnect, and I'm going to be showing you how to configure an ATC 2000 WF or Wi-Fi GSX. To configure these, you need to use a terminal emulator. I'm going to be using TerraTerm. To set up the terminal, you need to use 9600 baud rate 8 none one My COM port is COM14. To get into the configuration, you need to send three dollar signs. It will return a CMD. To see the current configuration for the wireless, you need to type a git space wlan. To get the serial configuration, you need to type a git space uart. The first configuration I'll be showing you is ad hoc mode. We can set the unit to ad hoc mode by using the set wlan join for command. We then use the set wlan ssid command to pick your network name. You can set the authentication using set wlan off command. We will be setting it to zero for open for this example. For ad hoc mode, you need to change the channel from zero using the set WLAN channel command. You can set the IP address to a static IP using the set IP add command. We can now check the wireless settings with the git wlan command again. We can double check the IP using the git ip command. And we can now save and reboot. The next configuration I will be showing you is infrastructure mode. This is for use with an existing wireless network. We will once again get the WLAN parameters. First we need to set WLAN join to 1. We will then set WLAN SSID to the network name. We will then match the authentication of your current wireless network. You can set the passphrase with the set wlan pass command. This also needs to match your current wireless network. Next we want to set wlan channel to zero to automatically join any channel on that network. Lastly, we could set IP DHCP1 so that the unit acquires a DHCP 
IP address once it connects to the network. We can then save and reboot. At reboot, you can see it joined our wireless network and acquired an IP address. Next, I will be showing you how to modify the serial configuration. You can get the serial configuration using the get uart commit. By default, it is set to 9600. We will be changing it to 115.2 using the set uart baud commit. We can then change the flow control using the set UART flow command. You can then see that the baud rate has changed and the flow control has changed as well. You can then save and reboot.